What is going on ladies and gents, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Optimus Prime. This is the second go at doing a Voyager Class, I believe, for the Night Style Optimus, and I think they've really hit the nail on the head. This guy is pretty cool. The vehicle mode is very nice and solid, it taps together really nicely. One thing you have got to watch out for, and I did notice when I first opened, this top section does not like to uh, to stay in. I've managed to get it you know, nice and solid now, but that took a bit of forcing to get in, and it would just sort of pop out, so be careful with that. Try not to break those pegs off, otherwise it's not going to sit flush, so just one thing to watch out for. Really cool looking vehicle mode though, it does tap together quite nicely apart from that little bit. Nice flames on the front as we come to expect from Movie Optimus. One thing I have noticed on the Voyager class figures is they aren't painted as well as the Deluxes, which kind of sucks. Some silver wheels would have just set this figure off really, really nicely, but unfortunately we didn't get that. A nice smokestack at the back there, got an Autobot symbol. Now, he does have some pretty decent weapon storage actually. The shield just pegs into where the tow bar would be, and uh, the shield is it's okay it's very nicely molded but again paint apps kind of suck for this figure again we have the sword underneath that just sort of pegs in there it's like a little scabbard and that will just slide in and the sword is it's, it's reasonably well detailed except it's just really not painted all that well that's the weapons off to the side underside you really can't tell this guy would really transform. I think the vehicle mode is, it's rock solid. For a quick size comparison with some other Autobots, here he is next to Bumblebee, and here he is next to Hot Rod. So you can see these guys together. Um, they scale pretty well. I think the uh, the Voyager size is uh, it's just perfect for, for Optimus. Now, the transformation is actually my favorite part of this figure. It takes a little bit of getting used to, because it is quite complex, but once you've got it down, everything pegs together really nicely, and it's actually a lot of fun to do. Um, I really enjoy transforming this guy. So anyway, what we're going to do is, if you haven't done it already, remove all the weapons, take the sword out, take the shield off. Take this top piece here, unpeg this, and fold it back. Take the side panels, these just unclip from the sides, fold these out like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come to the front here, we're going to split this section, and we're going to split the hood from the sides here, like that. Then this entire section will unpeg, and you can just fold all this out and it's kind of hard to show off there's a little clip in there just unpeg all this like that and get these off the side and i'm kind of like trying to show this off in in camera trying to make sure everything's in frame so i do apologize uh then what we're going to do is take the legs and fold these down like that and it's best to just sort of get the legs out of the way and done first so what we're going to do is split them rotate them around like that i'm going to take this little tow bar piece and fold this in let's do the same again rotate this around Fold this piece in, like so. Then these sections, I'm going to take the uh, the front, the grill, and just fold these back. Then what we're going to do is take the foot, fold that out, rotate it around, and then peg it in. Now this is where everything just sort of clips together. I have to sort of rotate this around, and then it will peg in onto his leg, like that. And then you have one leg done. I really do like how that transforms. It all fits together really nicely. Once you've got it down, it's a lot of fun to do. Do the same on the other side. Flip the grill around. Flip down his foot. Rotate that around. And then just peg that in to his leg. I hope that came across well on camera, but it's it's easier to do in person once you've got it down. Um, but there are his legs. What I'm going to do is rotate his body around just like that. And lift this piece up, take these panels that we folded out earlier, fold these into his back just like that. And then there's two little pegs on here and two little pegs on this section. And they will uh, they will go onto there. It's kind of hard to show off, but they do tab in. It's not very secure, but it just sort of holds them in place just a little bit. Then we're nearly done. You're just going to take these pieces, fold them back to reveal his hands, rotate the arms out like that, and you can take these little side panels, flip them around, and then these will just sort of peg into his torso there. And there are his arms, nice and secure. I'm gonna take his uh, his chest here, well, what will be his chest, fold his little pecs up like that. There we go. Lift up the head. And then it's literally just a case of snapping this into place, it all pegs together nicely. And there is Voyager Optimus in his robot mode. Now, despite having a little bit of kibble on the uh, the back 
of the figure. I think this is a really solid rendition of uh, Optimus Prime. I think he transforms enough to not really be called a shell former because he does have a lot going on. I think these leg pieces are really fun to transform. I like this guy. I think he's a very solid figure. The weapons do store in robot mode. He has a little scabbard back here in the robot mode and this will uh, allow you to put his sword onto his back and then you can have that on his shoulder like that. And then the shield can peg into either arm. I like to put it on this one like that and sort of angle it forward a little bit. And there you can have a shield or obviously he can hold the sword if you so choose. Articulation is fairly good. The head is on a ball joint so you can rotate left and right. It's kind of hindered by just the way um, his sort of shoulders are. He's got very broad shoulders. That's really, it's just down to his design really. There's not really a lot you can do about that. The shoulders up here can rotate 360 degrees, bent in and out, you can sort of rotate up here at his little bicep. Bend at the elbow, now the wrists are moulded, you can't really do anything with those, uh, but that's fine because he just holds his weapons really nice and securely, which I, I prefer that to be honest. I know Berserker has rubber hands and he can barely hold his weapons, so at least, at least this guy can actually hold his shit. Anyway, got waist articulation which is always nice, bend up and down up here. Like that, rotates at the thigh here, bend at the knee, and the feet are sort of stuck in there, they peg in. So decent articulation, I think it's just like the way he's designed sort of limits him a little bit, but he fits the bill for a Voyager figure, he, he does the job. Again, for a quick comparison, here he is next to Bumblebee and Hot Rod, the other Autobots from the film. And I do think these guys scale pretty well, Hot Rod is taller than Bumblebee in the film, I believe. So yeah, I think these guys do, they, they scale pretty well, he's a good size for a Voyager as well. Um, he just, he does, he, he, he is everything you could want out of a Voyager figure. Very, very solid, do recommend him. Honestly, I think the only thing this guy is really lacking is a couple more paint apps in the robot mode. He's got a lot of sort of this horrible gunmetal grey plastic and he's got painted silver on the chest but that's really all that's going on. A little bit more red, a little bit more blue could have been uh, could have been used there. I think overall he's very well moulded. I think he just needs a bit of a different paint job to be honest. But that is about it for the last night Optimus Prime. If you've been waiting for a decent figure of the, uh, the night style Optimus from Age of Extinction in the last night, now is the time. This guy is great. He fits the bill as just a solid Voyager class figure, and I very highly recommend him. He's a lot of fun to transform once you figure out how to do it, and uh, he pegs together really nicely. Just be careful with this piece in, in the vehicle mode when you first transform him. When you get him out of the box, I think it's just these pieces. They aren't, I don't think the holes were big enough for the tabs, and it was just pushing them out. So uh, they do take a little bit of forcing in there, and you can get a couple of white stress marks. So uh, be careful with that when you are uh, transforming him like first out of the box but after you've sort of worn them in uh, this guy is damn good I'm very impressed with him anyway cheers for watching guys and I will see you in the next one take care